So continuing on with the video, AIDS cure, huh? Patent number five six six nine seven. I told you the AIDS was created by the the uh, Grays. Yeah, the small Grays. Yeah. Yeah, I told you. Y'all think I'm crazy? No, AIDS was created by the aliens. Those Grays, those fucking gray things. Ninety-five percent. The vaccines that are causing more more issues than answering or solving. It's all part of a much bigger plan. These resilient cities, equally the local environmental groups that are going into every city and every town and taking them over, that are all sponsored by uh, the federal agencies and above behind them. But as you can see from this chart right here, look at the ownership of federal lands, federal public lands, and you can see it goes right up into Butte County right there. This is all owned by the federal government. And the way they do it is they put dependency from the states financially. All these states are financially dependent on the federal government for funding. And some it's so significant that you take that away in any shape or form and you're going to crash the state. Same thing they do with the public school systems. They fund it and they cut the funding. The federal government has 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 percent of the school funding. They cut it and then they're forced to go to the nonprofits, which is the J.P. Morgan, Rockefellers and Gates of the world. But take a look at this chart of the federal funding of California. You can see it's over $100 billion that, 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 that is supported annually from federal government money. So as soon as they pull it back, they're in trouble. And this is why FEMA former director James Lee Witt can say, hey, I'm going to hold up the money unless you play ball with us. And then I've got my books and I'm selling myself and I've got my connections in Washington, D.C. This is a federal takeover. And since the federal government owns the land, you think you own your land? Read your deed. It's not owned by you whatsoever. You may own the buildings, but you don't own the land. And this is what people are going to be finding out, sadly. But it's part of a much bigger story. They're taking over California. You've got Trump coming to paradise. Why did he come to paradise? Then you got James Lee Witt with his 600 people missing and 66 dead, 666. But they can't seem to find trailer space for the people that are missing. The people that are homeless for three months now were going on that they're missing if this is an actual picture that i took in chico california next to the airport of a fema operation and Whoa. they can't put trailers there look at the property size folks look at these tents what are they setting up for they were here before before the campfire started they were set up why were they set up here because they plan on being here as they've stated out here for a long, long time, just like they said in Hurricane Harvey, we're going to be here for years, if not decades. They're moving in, folks, unless we move them out. So let's listen to a little more testimony from the uh, Paradise City Council this morning. My name is David Lundberg. We moved to Paradise in uh, 1978, I believe, or 76. Uh, we have roughly an acre and a half. We have a standing house. We're living in the trailer until the house can be cleaned. <clears throat> I have no intention of moving off my property, uh, even though there is a building that was burned by the fire. I, I think the council is in a very tough position. You're trying to live with federal regulations, county regulations, and a lot of people who don't want to hear about either one of them, uh, and I don't blame them. Paradise is always been a nice quiet bedroom community for Chico. I don't see any reason for it to be more than that. It doesn't appear that that it's going to change. Uh, but, I, I don't understand why our debris has not been tested. If it would just be tested and let us know whether it's happening they're not going to test it. They're just there to kick you out. You know, it's, you know, Swissy. It's the reptilians. You're dealing with reptilian overlord it, overlordship people. They're not going to do it. And see, I'm afraid what's going to happen to these people is they're going to rebuild, you know, and, you know, somehow they're, <laughs> see, they want you to do the dirty work so that they can get their foreigners in. See what I'm saying? move in ready you might want to consider that factor you know these people will do the dirty work get their house ready to go and something will happen they'll 
force them off the property or something, and then, uh, you know, the fucking government will come and say, we're going to give it to our Asians or the illegals. Hazardous or not hazardous. We are doing a private contractor to begin with so that Cal o OES will not screw our roads going in and out of our property. And there is plenty of room. There's a pg &E access road. There's plenty of roads to get in there and very easily clean our debris. But I want to know whether it's hazardous. How do we know? Why doesn't this Butte County Health Advisor person come in and test the debris? You know, why isn't that mandatory? I don't think ours is contaminated. I really don't. Um, yeah. Another thing is people probably don't understand that there's a hundred mile constitution free zone encompassing the entire United States. That means anybody within the hundred mile borders have no rights whatsoever like we did uh, think we did anyway. But what they're going to find out when they try and start to rebuild is they're going to find benzene, which they already started to find in the soils up in uh, Paradise, just like they found in Santa Rosa, which delayed all the buildings, but also the homes that were being, uh, lands that were being sold at fire sale prices, 80, 75 percent discounts, fell out of escrow when they discovered the... Okay, you see this? This is very interesting. It's almost like uh, part of the railway system. <laughs> that um, Elon Musk and all them want to design. Benzene and those people that wanted to sell were not able to sell and get out. Many people I talked to in paradise are never moving back. They cannot go back there. But again, the insurance isn't there for the people. It's not there to help you. These insurance companies are absolute frauds. Yep. The worst of them is USA, a, the military one that redid their, their, their qualifications two weeks before the fires here in Santa Rosa. They're also requiring all new homes to be built in California to have solar power, part of the high altitude space platforms they're going to run. Right, because that's Solyndra. Solar power means problem solution, problem with the power. See, they did this on purpose, people. They used directed energy weapons to tear down your home, and then they have a contract with Solyndra, which is Obama. Obama did the Solyndra thing, which is Akhenaten bloodline. Okay, Egyptian bloodline. Okay, so they're building all these homes with solar power so that, you know, you are t tied to the sun simulator. Okay, that sun simulator is a weapon, people. It's a weapon. All the power from, and they're going to require all the homes be run on electric. No more natural gas homes will be allowed going forward here as well. Because it's all about, you know, helping us in the insurance. Meanwhile, all the fire sprinklers and all the requirements of all the building codes and all the walls that have to have certain fire safety codes adding to the cost did nothing to help stop the fires, yet they're still requiring sprinklers and everything. Absolutely ridiculous. Yeah, because the temperature is so high when you add um, aluminum, uh, what is it, what are the chemtrails made of? Uh, aluminum, oh gosh, I'm so tired. Um, I forgot what chemtrails are made of. Aluminum, barium, and um, strontium. Okay. It's going to create more heat. And then if you have lasers on top of it, well, fuck, you know, it goes over super hot. We must stop the madness. These people have lost everything and they're trying to find out what's going to happen to them next. They should be taking control and firing everybody and saying, we're going to self-organize. We're going to self-fund. We're going to help each other. We're going to rebuild ourselves and kick FEMA out. Kick PG&E out. Why are they putting all the PG&E lines? Why are they clear-cutting all the trees? Why aren't we talking about directed energy weapons being used to kick, take us out of us? Where's the list of all the missing people? Right. Why was the military locked down the, the whole town of Paradise for a month, not letting anybody in? Okay, in regards to missing people, there is technology where they can take these people. But a lot of these people, I hate to say it, a lot of them are Satanists. They um, already know, and they're, how can I explain this to you? Just put it simply like, um, 
uh, they purposely go missing so that later on they can come back. You know what I mean? So they're living somewhere else because they do have jump room technology. Now, I'm not saying these people aren't missing. I'm just saying it's a high probability due to the fact that they have this technology, people, that missing people are not missing, okay? They're not missing. They're somewhere, okay? They have cryostasis for, like, you know, putting you to sleep and then re-wakening re you up, okay? Cryostasis, just like in Star Wars, where they uh, freeze Han Solo and then later on he comes back to life, okay? They just slow your heart rate down. That's why doctors want EEG readings so they can slow your heart rate down. Okay, this is very diabolical. I know I'm getting heavy into this, but you need to know this shit, people. Okay? Missing people, in my opinion, there's a chance that they are not missing. They're somewhere else. And then they come back. Okay, this is part of the Agenda 21 deal. They get as many truth people off the planet, and then they, they will uh, repopulate the planet. Where did these fires originate? You know, are you going to start telling us now that it was a fire ignition? Why are you local ordinances people, you on the city council, why are you so impotent to make any changes? What authority do you have if you're being ruled over by state and federal jurisdictions? Because you're sock puppets. You're just doing as you're told. And I've been told by many people that the Paradise community before the fires was one of the most corrupt places you could ever see. But they're taking over paradise. These people, sadly, I'm sorry to say, will never be moving back into their homes. So they might as well fight for all it's worth. Hopefully those help give them a little more ammunition. And as the saying in Germany went, I did not speak out when they hit Lake County with the fires. I did not speak out when they hit Mendocino with the fires. I did not speak out when they hit Santa Barbara and Santa Rosa and Sonoma counties. I did not speak out when they hit the Redding because it was not my lands. I did not speak out when they hit Malibu or hit Thousand Oaks and the Wolseley fires. I did not speak out, but now they've hit my home. Now they've hit me and I'm speaking out and there's no one to listen and no one cares. Please people be the ones that care. Thank you for listening, Plain Truth Out.